right, Wetzel, your antenna looks fine. It's got some freezing rain hanging off of it. It did pull that cap. It goes over your eave. It pulled that off all the way around the house. And if you remember, whenever me and you put it up, I said one of the screws didn't feel like it bit into anything. Well, I think the reason for that might be that right about where we had it setting, the eave stops. You can see it pulled. They didn't have a two before or something all the way around. They've got this uh, chipboard on the eave instead of two befores. And so what happened, I don't know if you can tell from here. Let me get under it. Hopefully it don't fall on me. This whole roof right here is one big sheet of ice. And what happened, there's already a bunch of it right there. You see how much it's a sticking off of your roof right there? There's 12 inches, six, about 12 inches of ice are hanging off of your roof. And it's all a sliding down slowly as it gets wet and melts a little bit. And it pushed on that hurricane brace and pulled the screws. Well, it didn't pull the screws out. The screws did what they supposed to do. But it ripped this cheap-ass chipboard out of the way. Because it's, so, it's snow on top before it's melted and refroze. The whole bottom of it is solid ice. And it's a sliding off your sheet metal roof in there. So I would say, you know, I don't have a way to safely break this up. I would say that in the next 24 hours or so, there's going to be a big ass chunk of ice hit your front porch. Your coax here is tight. I haven't gone in the house yet. Well, no, it's not too tight. So it's got some slack there. So what I'll do, if I can, I'll see if I can disconnect the coax. Because I don't think the pole's going anywhere. I might move the grill out of the way and lay it on the porch railing. But it's got enough leverage that it ain't going nowhere. Uh, but, uh, I will see if I can disconnect your coax and pull it back and lay it over in a corner or something. Uh, maybe wrap it in something, put it in a can or something, keep water off of it. So that when this comes off, it don't cut your coax or damage it. So I'm going to walk in here and say hi to Bethany. And we'll... Now it ain't trying to come off over there. It looks like most of what was hanging over there has already broken and fell right there. But you've got a big chunk of ice, the whole roof. And that's what's shoved. Because right there is where your pole was a sitting. And this chi you can see where this chipboard was right there. That's why I said it didn't feel like one of them bit into nothing because it's just chipboard. So one or two turns and the threads would just chew the hole out. I thought it was two before. But uh, anyway, I'll catch you later.